Hi beauties. Okay. So I'm sitting here doing our monthly unboxings of the Ipsy's and the Boxy Charms. If you guys are new, basically my mother has an Ipsy, an Ipsy Plus slash Glam Bag X and a Boxy Charm subscription as do I. Each month I wait for all of hers to get delivered. I go pick them up and then I sit down and I film me unboxing each respective box together. I pick out which box I like better as a total between my mom's and mine. And then I pick out my five favorite products or if it's a plus, my eight favorite products, depending on what it is, um, for like my ideal box. This month I've saved the Glam Bag X for last. Of course, because of the way customization works now, we can see everything we're getting in our boxes before they even show up. Um, a little different than what it used to be. And the Glam Bag X, uh, I've been doing it since they announced it, since they got rid of the Ultimate and they moved on to the Glam Bag X. Uh, Mom and I both signed up for it then. I've liked a lot of them. I was really dissatisfied with my choices for this one. I'm gonna be honest, I don't fully remember what it ended up being, but I remember on customization day, it was rough. And uh, this, the curator was, was Halsey for this one. Uh, I had high hopes and I was very let down. I had no makeup options virtually. I think I got maybe, maybe I got like one, maybe as a palette or something like that. I don't know. Really had zero makeup options. Um, neither did my mom. And we've talked about, my mom has been really unhappy with Ipsy this year. And then you guys all had the wonderful suggestion of changing her age and she changed it. And immediately she was getting more makeup options, but she didn't get any makeup options really this month either. So we both were pretty unhappy with it. Um, I am gonna do hers first. I don't remember what either of the boxes contain. I do know that it was so bad that I actually chose the bag as one of my options and I don't normally do that. This is my mother's. They sent us the little like Halsey newspaper that gives you like what her thought process was when she was making this bag talks about each of the products and like their price tag. So I actually should be able to go through and pick out, I believe I will be able to go out, go through and figure out what the prices are, which normally I can't do because I never remember. I don't remember how many products we get in this. Is it still eight? I guess it's eight. What do we normally get in the plus? Is it plus five? Plus is five and then you get eight with the X. That's what it is. I'm, I'm remembering now. It's not my first time doing it. I just have a terrible memory, so. All right, so let's jump in. First thing, she also chose the bag. I actually really like the bag. It's like a really nice like feel to it. Um, like I can't even explain what it's like this. Like, I feel it. What does it feel? It's like a suede, but like a plastic suede, like a rubber suede. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's but it's, it seems durable. It's a cute bag. I do like it. Uh, yes, so I, and I also chose that. So uh, next thing she got is the DNA, do not age with Dr. Brandt, time defying cream. I really like Dr. Brandt, so actually probably a really nice product. Um, but I just I just wanna show you guys. So she chose the bag and then everything virtually that she got is all skincare. Like no makeup options whatsoever. So not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just saying I wanted at least the option to get makeup and I don't think either one of us really had that. So yes, okay. So she got the Dr. Brandt, that's probably a hefty price tag as well, but yes, I, I do think that's a decent product. Uh, next she has the Sonage Collagen Boosting Serum. This is supposed to plump and smooth um, and it is vegan, so that's that's interesting. I feel like a lot of times when you see like collagen based stuff, it's probably not vegan, but I could I could be wrong. It looks like a decent size, but that's also all right. Like the, it, where it starts to yellow is where the actual serum starts. So it is a little bit misleading. So like basically you get like that much product. Uh, but I mean, honestly with those kind of like serums and stuff like that, I don't, I don't really, I'm not really surprised by that. It is half a fluid ounce. So probably about pretty standard. Next thing we have is the Volition Yapon Tea Glow Awakening Moisturizer. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. Um, but it is a hydrating moisturizer. It smells really good. It smells really good. It's like a little pink kind of buttercream. I actually think that this would be a, probably a pretty nice cream, but you guys can see it's like, it's all moisturizers, all serums. I just wanna see variety. Like that's my thing. I'm not complaining about skincare. But we've been getting a lot of skincare this year and I'm fine with that. It's just like to see a box that was $50 and it's like, I know I know skincare is more expensive. You guys are gonna be like, skincare is more expensive anyway. I get it, I understand. The option for makeup would have been nice to see. That's all That's all I'm saying here. This is from Herbivore. It is the Emerald Hemp Seed Deep Moisture Glow Oil. I gotta say, I really like 
everything with like CBD and hemp in it. I really do like the effect it has. So actually, I think this is a really nice product. I actually might've chose this one as well because it was hemp based, um, but it's actually a pretty good size too. It looks like it's, it's a, it's a fluid ounce. I don't know why, but this one fluid ounce looks like so much bigger than the other little packaging man. Packaging really does give the illusion of like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I do. I actually, I'm not gonna open this up because the way you have to open it, but I'm pretty sure I got this as well. This is a light lock highlight fluid. So this would be what I would imagine like the co the uh, Cover FX glow drops are type thing. I actually really like these kind of products, uh, but my mom, my mom talked about this, I know when she got it, cause I think it was chosen for her. And she was like, what am I supposed to do with it? Because I, I don't use products like that. And I was like, honestly, the best thing I found, especially for someone like my mom who likes to tan is if you put a couple of like glow drops in your foundation when you're like, she doesn't really use liquid foundation, so that's hard. But I, for her, I would just like do a little bit all over my skin before I put like my powder foundation over it. But I feel like that just gives you like an all over shine. And that's like the only way that I found to use it properly. Cause I don't like liquid highlighters. I just, I don't know. I don't, I feel like they like always pull my makeup. Maybe it's just poor application on my part. I don't know, but I just, that's the only way I found to use stuff like that. So it's not really, it's a, I like that kind of product, but it's not a great product for my mom, if that makes sense. The next thing we have is from Tatcha. And I actually really like Tatcha products. My mom really likes Tatcha products as well. And it's like, it's like super fancy packaged. It like came with like a drawer and everything. This is the Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer. I don't know what this is. It's like a button. So it's like really nicely packaged and I'm not gonna open it up even though I wanna see it because it's my mom's and I, I don't like doing that. I just, I'm very funny about it. Um, but they do have this like instruction manual with it. Maybe it like, this is fascinating. Okay, so it starts off with dear friends. One of our most memorizing sites or one of the most memorizing sites I've witnessed is a geisha in her full performance makeup with flawless white skin, rosebud lips and impeccably lined eyes. So I'm pretty sure she designed this to be similar to that like ritual. Like that's what that little thing was. It's like a spatula and you're supposed to like glide across the thing and then like fascinating. I actually really like that. That's cool as shit. I'm not gonna lie. That's a really, that's just a neat product. Yeah, I like that a lot. I don't remember. I don't know that I got that. I don't remember if I got it or not. I don't remember anything, so. The last thing we got from Mom's Box is, uh, I know I got one as well. I don't know if it's the same color, but uh, this is the uh, Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara from Fenty Beauty. Of course, Fenty and Rihanna, they're both gifts to the world. So very excited uh, to see more Fenty products. Oh, I'm interested by that. Mascaras are kind of like a meh product for me. I have a lot of them, so I don't really, but when you find a good formula mascara, then it's really exciting. So, and I like the brush. It looks like it might be a cool one. So this might be a good product. So yeah, so that's mom's box. I'm gonna be honest, a lot of really good products. I think my disappointment just comes surely from the fact that we really didn't see more makeup. Every, every product individually is a good product. I think it was just the, the very real lack of like variety in it. Like it's all skincare based. We have skincare, 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 a bag. And then technically like we'll call it on the verge cause it's a primer. So it's on the verge of skincare and makeup. You could classify it as either. And then we got a mascara, which is like the most basic of makeup products you could get. So that was my biggest issue with it. It's not that it's not a valuable box. It is. I really do actually think there's a high ticket it's a high ticket value, but I recall setting mine up, mine being worth like $300 or something like that, but it was because it was all skincare based and I still was disappointed because of the variety. Does that make sense? You guys might be like, you're just bitching for no reason, but like at $50, I just would like to see at least a couple of pieces of makeup. I do believe I got, there was like one palette that was included. I do think that I got that, but I remember not loving the palette. All right, let me see if I can actually come up with a price list for what mom got because if I can, I would like to do that. So yes. All right, we're gonna try it. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do my damnedest So The Tatcha uh, primer is $52. Volition Beauty Moisturizer is $39. The About Face uh, Fluid in Flight Liquid Highlight is $32. The bag is $18. Collagen Boost is $48. The, oh God, the Dr. Brandt Defying Cream is $132. Uh, yes, the Emerald Deep Moisture Glow Oil is $48. Uh, 
and the Fenty Beauty mascara is $24, which gives us a total of $393. High value box. I'm not saying it's not a valuable box. It is. Just saying, I was hoping for more variety. Like honestly, four, four or five skincare products, I would have been fine with. Even four or five skincare products plus the bag, but just like, I don't know. No, I wanted to see a little bit more makeup. I'm not gonna apologize for that. I wanted to see a little bit more makeup. Let's jump into mine. I do think I have at least the palette in here. Um, but yeah, let's let's go. Let's roll. Let's rock and roll. There's my magazine. Oh, that's opened. Oh shit, that's also open. What the fuck? Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. So apparently my box had a hard rise, but it'd be like that. You know, it's funny. I was being really hard on this box. I don't like the choices we were given, but I do think that I chose the best choices I could based on what I was given. I'm sure this will be a high dollar box as well because I know what I picked out and based on just going through the list. So I also got the Fenty Beauty mascara. I know that was one of the products chosen for me. Same thing with this guy. So this is from Arthur Beauty. This is the Moonlight Crystal Palette. Oh, we were, I thought it was broken, but no, it's like, it's like angled. It's like a, cause it's supposed to be like a crystal. So it's like, they made it kind of crystal shaped, which is neat. And then they also gave us this like really awesome little like moon card. And it said, heed the message of the moon and also harness its power. The moon lives in the darkest of places yet lights a path to, to bring clarity of mind, heart and spirit, which I love. I love that. I love that. Oh, but it does look like, does it look like a fingerprint to you? All right, so I mean, overall cute, Maybe it just is bad packaging. I don't know, because it is like a cardboard thing. I don't know. It this definitely looks like it has a fingerprint in it. Apparently yeah, I I the one down. They all look like I'm wondering if it's just shitty packaging. Like the way that they are pressed in, because there's so many of them. Unless literally they were this was like a tester palette and they just sent it to me. Yes. They're like I don't know. The colors are pretty. They're pretty. I don't know why, I just don't love this palette. I should, because I'm not the type of person who's like, oh, I don't like bright colors. I just, like there's some pretty colors in it. And then I just feel like, I I don't know. Maybe I'm just being really critical of this palette. I just didn't, I saw it online and I didn't resonate it with, their, with it there either. I like the idea of it. I love the little card. Um, seeing all the different like fingerprint looking things in it makes me go like, well, I don't know. But I don't know. It's not a bad palette, it is a palette, but like, I don't know. I know I've been bitching about like, oh, I want makeup and then I get a palette and you guys are like, you don't even like the palette. I'm sorry. I'm allowed to have like preferences, damn. So yeah, so bag, mascara, then we have the palette. I also got the DNA from Dr. Brandt. This is the Nuco Tropical Microbiome Repair the Skin Barrier. This is a tropical skin supplement. Um, so I believe this is actually a wash. Yeah, this is a cleanser. And it's just supposed to help with like cleaning your skin and then also giving probiotics to help rejuvenate it while it's in there cleaning. So I like the sound of it. Kind of small for a cleanser, but I mean, I'm always looking for good cleansers. I also got the Herbivore Emerald uh, Hemp Oil as well, because I told you guys I wanted that. I got the Light Lock, uh, highlight fluid as well. And I think I got it in a different shade. My mom got it in like a sun kissed one, like one for darker skin tones, I think. And I got it in like the pale ass one. Straight and beaming is what it is. Oh, love the packaging. Oh, but I can't see it, damn. Oh yeah, really pretty, like nice pearlescent color, beautiful. I definitely really like this product. I, I won't lie, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty solid product in my opinion. Um, and then the final thing that I got is the Elemis Skin Buff Deep Cleansing Exfoliator. Um, and let's see, let's see how big this is. I'm really sad I didn't get the Tatcha thing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really, really disappointed with that. So yeah, I would have preferred the Tatcha thing over that palette, if I'm being honest, so it'd be like that though. So yes, yeah, so let's take a look and see what my value is. I think mine's about the same as mom's, but we'll see. All right, so we've got, yeah. I'm sorry. So they're telling me this palette, this palette, which I'm, if you guys got the palette, you can tell me the packaging on that feels cheap. Hands down, whatever else you think about it, it is a cardboard palette. It feels cheap. I've had a lot of palettes that are 
less expensive than what they're saying this one is that have a much better feel to it. I'm sorry, that's really critical, but don't, it's really hard to bullshit a bullshitter when I'm sitting in a room filled with palettes that I paid 50, 60 bucks for. So they're telling me this palette is $58. Then we've got our Fenty Beauty Mascara, which is $24. The Herbivore Botanicals Glow or uh, CBD Oil is $48. Our Glow Oil is $32. The Nuco Cleanser is $42. The Dr. Brandt, oh nope, that's not it. This is the Dr. Brandt. The Dr. Brandt is $132. I'm not seeing my illness on there, which is really weird. Uh, the bag is $18. And the last thing I have should be the Elemis, but I'm just, I literally don't see it anywhere. They like didn't even put, the, this wasn't even part of it. They just were like, it's literally not listed. So I don't know. I know what Elemis normally costs, but we're just gonna not put that in there. So how much is that? That's $354. I'm assuming this is probably like a 40 to $50 product at minimum. So probably right around what mom got value-wise in her bag. Mom's was better. Honestly, seeing the palette in person, holding it, feeling it, I would have preferred mom's box. I know I was complaining about makeup and you guys are like, well, you don't even like the makeup you got. That's the problem. There we go, we figured out the problem. Cause the only makeup that I actually received, I'm not a fan of. So yeah, I, I, I felt like this was a mess of a box for me. I'm sorry, for $50, we're paying a lot of money for this box. And while yes, I did definitely get a, my values worth out of it, I just I just don't think it was well done. I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't even know if I can pick out the eight products that I would want to. I don't even know if I have it in me to do that, if I'm being honest. I don't think I do. At the end of the day, mom's box was better and I've got this. Yeah! <laughs> Nikki started laughing at that. Yeah, what did you guys think? Am I being overly critical? If I'm being overly critical, that's fine. Um, I do think, while yes, I can be overly critical about it, at the end of the day, it's a lot of money. $50 is a lot of money to shell out. I have not, I have not spent $50 at Ulta since 21 Days of Beauty, and even then I was much, I like, I just, I'm not spending that much on makeup this year, I'm not. I did it a lot more last year. I was better about filming tutorials last year, so there was more of a motivation to. This year has been a little bit different of a mindset for me, and we've been dealing with house expenses and our wedding and everything else we have to afford, so it's, I just haven't prioritized buying makeup, so it's really hard when it's like, I'm not buying makeup, but I'm spending, on average, we're spending $50 with Ipsy a month, and then on the X months, we're spending closer to $70 or $80. So it's just, it's it's a lot of money that you're putting into stuff that may not necessarily be what you want. And so, and I know, yes, it's my choice. At any point, I can stop it. But I just feel like a little bit better options would probably make me feel less like this. What did you guys think? How did you feel like this Glam Bag X went? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, please subscribe. We're getting ready for Halloween and hopefully uh, we'll have some really cool stuff coming up quickly for that. Other than that, I hope you guys are all doing well. You are safe, you are healthy, you have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.